The Marvel heroes have been gone for over a month, but taking their place is an army of crossover characters from across the multiverse. What's up, Pro Guides fam? I'm Cody, and season five has seen the Fortnite storyline ramp up in ways we never could have expected. So today, I'm here to break down everything you need to know. Before we can start talking about the Zero Point storyline of Season 5, we have to go over the end of Season 4, which saw the mighty Galactus making his way down to the Apollo Island in an attempt to consume it whole. I hunger. Now, we have to cut Galactus some slack here. He had his own battle going on in the main Marvel Universe, and the unlimited power hidden under Apollo was just too much to resist. Sure. The unintended side effect would have been the collapse of reality itself, but how was Galactus meant to know that? And he would have succeeded too, if it weren't for Tony Stark and his army of tricked out battle buses. In the final moments, as the universe itself was sucked into the zero point, Tony Stark and the rest of the Avengers launched their plan of throwing billions of battle bus clones bursting at the seams with gamma cell bombs. It was truly the sight to see. Instead of devouring the rest of the Zero Point energy, Galactus got a side serving of Gamma, which caused him to rift right back to the Marvel 616 timeline alongside the rest of the Avengers. Their memories of the events worked. We were safe. Or so it seemed. Sometimes it can feel really safe out there, but you're really in danger. Guys, if you want to be a pro at getting out of danger, then head over to ProGuides.com. We've got tons of awesome coaches and classes there for you to really step up your gaming level. So if you guys want to be a beast, check out ProGuides.com. That being said, let's get back to the saga. The events of the Nexus War had ripped the Zero Point itself free from its safe harbor underneath the Apollo Island. It was now free and floating above the map, changing it completely. The reality of Fortnite had started to destabilize, and that's where we found ourselves at the beginning of Season 5. We are introduced once again to Agent Jones. Only now we know he's on a mission to try and fix everything that the Marvel Universe had started. His goal is to create as much chaos as possible to try and kickstart another restart of the loop. Oh, and what's the loop? Well, the loop is a concept that has been hidden in the game since the very beginning, way back in Chapter 1. It's an explanation for how lobbies and the battle royale in general work in the game. Basically, all the characters and the island itself is stuck in an eternally reoccurring time loop. That's how you can have game after game with the same characters and how the island keeps getting reset between them. Each match is a loop. Now, the group that Agent Jones works for, the Imagined Order, exists to keep the characters that are in the loop, well, in the loop. None of them are allowed to escape. We're still not sure why the IO are so intent on keeping the loop going or why they need to keep all the characters from escaping. Maybe it's some sort of experiment that they're running. Or if the multiverse ending nature of the season four cutscene is anything to go by, maybe it's actually a naturally occurring phenomenon. Either way, the implication is that the loop is a side effect of the zero point. Looping time isn't the only thing that zero point can do either. It can create rifts between the loop itself and a ton of other universes and worlds. It's why characters like Drift, who was once just a dude from our world, and the Avengers from the Marvel comics can exist in the same space. They are slipped through rifts that the Zero Point has made. All of this also helps to explain the giant piece of desert that has shown up in the middle of the island. This desert is literally the Zero Point collapsing the Fortnite loop in real time. The Zero Point is destabilizing, just like it did in the first chapter, and is starting to bring more and more elements of other worlds into to the world of Fortnite. In the story trailer for the start of the season, you can hear Agent Jones on the phone with someone, likely a higher up in the Imagined Order itself. They set him a task. Agent Jones has to reseal the zero point to fix the damage that has been done to the loop, and he has to keep everyone from escaping. To do this, Agent Jones has done some recruiting of his own. He used the IO's loop bridge to summon bounty hunters from across the multiverse, ranging from the Mandalorian to the warrior alien predator, 
to keep up the chaos on the island while Jones goes about fixing things. It's a pretty smart solution if you think about it. Keep everyone's eyes on the hunters instead of the wider problem. Basically, just cause some noise. Only problem is, that wasn't what the higher ups in the IO wanted, because what Jones is doing might end up bringing the attention of the Seven. The Seven are a group we've heard of quite a few times throughout the course of Fortnite's lifetime. It's never been said who they are or what their goal is, but it's implied that at the end of chapter one, they somehow stop the zero point from obliterating time, space, and the IO's bridge. If the IO want to keep the loop going, it would make sense that the Seven want the opposite. They likely want to stop the loop and free everyone from inside of it. The Order didn't mess with the Seven in chapter one, but that's likely only because they were trying to stop the zero point from exploding anyway. If you go back to when chapter two launched, there was an opening message with a few important lines. The bridge is intact. The seven succeeded. Our manipulations averted disaster. The lines then went on to say, we've been as quiet as possible, but the gaze of others may now be turned towards zero. A whole new world awaits. Okay, so let's recap a few things. The zero point has the potential to wipe out the entire multiverse if it goes wrong. No pressure or anything. The seven stop that from happening by destroying the whole Fortnite island. But then, out of nowhere, the Chapter 2 island was created. What if that was the work of IO? Hijacking the Seven's plans to save creation by creating a whole new Fortnite island. Of course, the Order wouldn't want to attract the attention of the Seven. They probably still think the island is in the black hole. Our second theory for the identity of the Seven is equally interesting. The logo for the Imagined Order has seven separate sigils engraved into it. Maybe the Seven aren't the Imagined Order's enemies after all. Perhaps they're in fact the seven leaders of the imagined orders and whoever was calling agent john jones simply didn't want to get in trouble with her bosses all in all there is no way to know for sure there's more that we can learn from the story trailer alone. When Agent Jones is told that he has to go back into the loop, he responds that the last thing we need is another snapshot of me inside the loop. Go in. Oh, come on. Last thing we need is another snapshot of me inside the loop. No. This is the first time that snapshots have been mentioned. And honestly, it's a genius explanation as to how all the skins in the game exist alongside each other. Whenever someone goes through to the loop, a snapshot of them will be made every single time. These snapshots are basically clones, and the best example to look at, really, is Agent Jones. There are currently over 70 different skins for Jonesy alone, and what we've learned in the season is that each and every one of them are all clones of the original Agent John Jones. However, every time a loop completes, each of the snapshot's memories fades away. This is why the Avengers in Season 4 quickly forgot who they actually were. The A in Avengers must have stood for amnesia. The characters forgot the previous matches they were in, and it's gone on for a long enough time that most of the snapshots have completely lost their ability to talk. All they have in common with the originals at this point is their appearances. However, in Season 5, that's starting to change a little. Some of the characters have a dialogue since you can actually talk to them them and get quests off of them. Could this have something to do with the Stark's influence in Season 4? Hmm, something to ponder. Okay, so I took the liberty of tinkering with your reality a bit. It's really no big deal. You can thank me later. I hacked your time loop thingy, uh, made a few billion Battle Bus clones, and then turned them all into very powerful bombs. If he did hack the loop to make infinite clones of the battle bus, really that means anything is possible. And it might be why our characters can finally talk in the game. Who knows what other side effects from Tony's tinkering might end up coming to light further down the line. It gets even more interesting when you actually pay attention to one version of Jonesy in particular, and that's Bunker Jonesy. His descriptions on the collections page for his skin implies that he might actually be one of the first ever Jonesy snapshots in the loop. And if you you talk to him in game, he tells you that his job was to actually jump into zero point to see what happens. This Jonesy is incredibly unique among the cast of characters in the game because he seems to be the only skin and NPC that realizes he is actually stuck in a time loop. He also has a whole bunch of lines related to the storyline. How scary would that be guys? Just imagine you're on a loop and you realize it and no one else around you can tell. Freaky man, super freaky. Yeah. <laughs> 
He also says if we want to know why there are so many Jonesies on the island, we'll have to ask one of the more recent ones. This means all the snapshots could have identical memories to the real Agent Jones before the loop wiped them. But since all of our characters are regaining their ability to speak, it means we're eventually going to get those memories back too. Maybe when that happens, the entire story will finally be put together and make sense. On top of that, it seems like the entire quest feature and the addition of gold was also the work of Agent Jones. If you look at the gold bars up close, they all have the Imagined Order logo on them. One of Lexa's legendary quests starts with the dialogue. What if Jones is just trying to keep everyone busy with these quests? And if you complete it, she says, if we do enough of these quests, we might get some answers. And do not forget, Donald Mustard, Chief Creative Officer at Epic, tweeted everything in Fortnite is connected just over half a year ago. The most sensible prediction is that there's going to be a massive island change again. But what could they do that would be brand new? And there would have to be some sort of large story event. I mean, how do you top Galactus? What if the Seven return and go to war with the Imagined Order? Ooh, that could be nice. The Season 5 Battle Pass ends on March 15th, 2021. And I guess we'll find out what Season 6 has in store for us then. Ooh, baby! I can't wait. Thanks for watching Pro Guides fam. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new content. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. And yes, we do read them. That's it for me today though, so good luck grinding, and I'll catch you in the next one.